Kiora. This is Winter reporting for Kia Kids News. I wonder what crazy yacht I'll run into today. Well, this place is big. So let's go talk to some of these amazing, talented artists here at Armageddon. I'm with Rachel. She's an artist. How did you get into this? I've always been really artistic and I've loved like movies and TV. Um, so I started with some iconic like actors and then someone asked me to do Harry Potter. What sort of things did you draw when you were a kid? When I was a kid, I drew a lot of animals. I drew horses like for like a year straight. Out of all of these, what is your favourite one? Oh, I hate this question because my drawings are all my children and I love them equally. I would say at this stage it's my Harry Potter, but I also have a soft spot for my Robin Williams because he was just one of the greatest. I'm pretty sure that the Harry Potter and the Stranger Things are my favourite. I'm in the middle of this and I've watched all the movies of that. I'm with Martin from Chittle Creations. How did you get started, Martin? Hey, I woke up one morning and I wanted to buy my first 3D printer. I started making these dragons and my friends really liked them, so suggested I should start selling them. And this is where we are today. How did you get the idea for crystal dragons? It's really the first dragon that we ever made. It was a crystal dragon and uh, it was really amazing. I loved the crystals and I had to keep showing them to people. I really like him. He's cute. Um, I've been drawing seriously for about seven years. That's a long time. What are you drawing at the moment? Uh, I'm drawing my original character. I'm just sketching to pass a bit of time. Whoa, that's amazing. She's all of these. Does she have cat ears? They're wolf ears. Well, I think they're beautiful. Thank you. Wow, there are so many creative people here. I want to buy everything. I'm with B. These are her original characters. How did you get into this? At first I just created characters with my friends and then it just went, we kind of fed into each other and we inspired each other to create more and now we're here with like 20 plus characters. Whoa, you must have watched a lot of anime. It's been a big part of my life. As you can see, it's influenced everything I do. I think Raiden on here is my favorite. Why dragon eyes? Why dragon eyes? I mean, like, why not? Dragons are magical, right? And if you look really closely, they look right into your soul. So they're gonna be your little companions and take care of you. I love Pokemon, and I decided that I wanted to have some berries for myself, like the one I'm wearing. And then I was like, well, I can't deprive the public of having these as well. So I wanted to make sure that the things that I like were also available to other nerds like me. <laughs> oh my God, there's a goat here. Just when I thought this convention couldn't get any weirder. I didn't even know this existed. Oh my god, it's a Harry Potter! This one's my favorite. Look at it! Wow, this is amazing. Oh my god, that guy has a knife! <laughs> How did you get starting writing books? I've always wanted to write them. Like before I was your age, I was making them and stapling them together and dispensing them. What do you think is your most accomplished book? My most popular book is probably The Unflinching Ash, which is a young adult novel. But this one, Shadow Chaser, is only two weeks old, so it's a little early to stay. If you're a fan of Pete's Dragon, this is like New Zealand's Pe Pete's Dragon. Rather than a dragon out in the wilderness, maybe we have a panther. Wow, I love Pete's Dragon. I'm here with Yash, who sells helmets and other stuff. Out of all of it, what would you say is most exciting to sell? I would have to say the Captain America, uh, just because a lot of people come in and they want to wear it and they feel like, whoa, this is more powerful for us. Yeah. Captain America equals power. I feel the power! It's amazing what people can do with their imaginations and a couple of arts and crafts. This has been Winter reporting for Kia Kids News. Bye!